Let's just hope we don't have a blowout because the spare's blown out. Cool. <laughs> are we are we sure about this? <laughs> it, I mean it looks good to me. Well, okay. Hey guys, welcome to Three Mississippi. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today is a very exciting day here because I am going to pick up my goats. I'm going to pick up Caroline and old Dan and little Ann, and I'm going to go pick up our brand new Anatolian livestock guardian. It's going to be a little bit of an adventure and a little bit of back and forth, but I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. But first, I want to show you the new kicks we got from High Speed. Guys, we got our first pair of high C boots when we first moved to Mississippi about a year ago. And we have been wearing them like crazy. They have been the only muck boots that I've used since I've moved here. And I am a huge fan. I've used them to hike up and down the creek. Uh, I've used them, of course, during the winter with rain and mud. And I have not slipped or fallen once in the mud due to that amazing tread that's on the bottom of them. Uh, they really do hug you really well and keep the the bugs and the the wetness out when the weather's really nasty now the thing that's really nice about these new ones guys these shorter ankle ones i am a fan i've only been using these now for a few days they just got here and i can't tell you how thrilled i am with them there are days where i'm only really dealing with the grass that's up here and i'm not walking out into the tall stuff and i don't need to wear boots up to my knees and when it's 100 plus degrees outside the last thing I want to do is throw on muck boots that are really, really tall and I know I'm just going to get sweaty and nasty in them. These, I, it's only my feet and a little over my ankle just to keep the things from nibbling on you. If the ants get on you or whatever, you can still tuck your pants if you're wearing pants into them. Uh, and they still have that amazing tread on the bottom that's going to keep you from slipping and sliding. I'm a big fan, guys. They're easy to slip on and off. I usually size up, so I wear a size 7 in my shoes and I always get a size eight in my muck boots. So just so I can still, I have plenty of room, they're comfortable, but I can still slip them in and out without, you know, a big ordeal. The three of us have been using them like crazy. And, and I gotta tell you guys, these are some of the best all-terrain boots. They have lots of different kinds on their website. And in fact, if you go down and check that link below, you can go take a peek at all of the different varieties of shoes and boots that they do offer, as well as if you use TCR15 promo code, you'll get 15% off your very own pair of high C boots, guys. And I'm telling you, we don't rep products a lot. And when we do, it's because we really, really like them. Uh, and I am a huge fan of these things. They're neoprene. They've got a lifetime guarantee on them, warranty. So if something does come up with them or is wrong with them, you give that company a call and they will take care of it for you. Um, but I got to say, I've been wearing the daylights out of mine. So has Mike, so has Frankie, and they look like the day we got them. Um, so, and we wear them daily for hours sometimes. And I will say this too, they are some of the more comfortable. They've got a nice cushion or something on the bottom because I stood on my feet for hours a couple weeks ago in my big muck boots and I processed 40 birds. And normally by the end of that, my feet are killing me. Uh, but with those, I was a lot more comfortable. I'm not going to say it was like paradise, but it was a lot more comfortable. Anyway, guys, go check that link out below and don't forget TCR 15 for your discount code to get your very own. to Jen's she's actually picking up her car from the shop right now so she's gonna meet me here but um, I think the puppies are in this pen out here so let's go take a look there they are hi <coughs> hi sweet peas hi there's my baby 
Hi. Hi. You're going to go to your new home today, kids. drop it it might go on so come back just a little right there maybe break put your brake on let me see how far you're gonna roll maybe because now if you drop it down if you look on this side it should move itself on it okay So like a hair back. blowout because the spare is blown out. Cool. <laughs> are we are we sure about this? <laughs> it, I mean it looks good to me. Well okay. Is this in here enough? It is. It's locked on. We're sure. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to slide that piece up. All right. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Say a little prayer. Say a prayer guys. <laughs> Hey, prayer. It's going down. Going down to Chinatown. All right. That took us 10 minutes to get it hooked up. That's not too bad considering that's my first time doing that. And she's not used to this kind of her. This one's a little different than hers. So we're going to drive to her house now and go pick up animals and hope it all goes smoothly. So here we go. You got this, Sid. You want to load them here? First time really backing up a trailer. I know you have to go the opposite when you're turning, so there's a little bit of a learning curve there. But we did it. Let me grab the, uh, oh, let me grab my boots and my lead here. All right, we're gonna take these, these new high C muck boots for 
for a test drive now. A little tab on the back end is handy for holding them while you get your foot in. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. Guys, we had, I got out of their driveway okay with the trailer. Um, I didn't, I didn't hit any fences or trees or anything going down their windy driveway and out their gate. Made it in this gate okay. Um, proud of myself. That was, that was good. Nothing like a uh, trial by fire, right? Got to do what you got to do. It was good having a female empowerment with me. She was my little cheerleader. She's like, you got this. You can keep going. You're good. You got plenty of room. You're, you got it. My cheerleader over here. Always a cheerleader. Always a cheerleader. Never a hater. <laughs> Never a hater. That's right. No mean girls. Okay, it's like herding squirrels, but we got this. I know. Come on. Yes, come on. I know. Come on. Let's go. She's like, I hear my babies. I know, Mama. Come on. I know. You know what to do, huh? Come on. Come on. Come on, Caroline. Back up. All right, they're not yeah. happy. Mama's yeah. not happy. Those other two kids yeah. that were back there were her kids yeah. that she's had this last year that since she's been with Jen. These are the kids that she had with me, the weather and the girl. So I know, I know, Mama, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, guys, so we just made it back. <laughs> I drove the horse trailer without any issues and we're ready to get everybody unloaded and settled now. Hi babies, I know you're hot, huh? I know. Alrighty, I'm going to put these guys in a temporary pen here where the roosters were for now because we do have a couple spots on the bottom part of the fence that we need to fix later tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in there for now just as a holding pen, let them get settled down, give them some water or whatever, and then we'll put the goats in the pasture. This is the boy. This is Kusi Kusi. We're going to call him Kusi. I know. Yes. And his name <laughs> means like protector, both like uh, horse and dog spirit um, uh, that they, in Nespers. 
Um, so and Mike has some family uh, in that tribe and uh, he spent some time on that reservation when he was a kid. So this is Kusi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get you settled. Buddy. This is the girl. This is Nashva. We're gonna call her Nash, and her name means wolf in Chickasaw. So she's gonna be our little guardian. <laughs> so I'm gonna go put her in with her brother. <laughs> And so it begins. <laughs> oh, the boy's the brown one? Yeah. I need to clean it. Here, can you... Good. He was using my stock tank to uh, cover up the compost bin. Compost pile, I should say. Yeah, I'm going to need something new to keep the rain off my compost pile. Yep. And then behind that fence, all the way up to there, is going to be the horse. We've got their stock tank getting filled up right now with water. So it's time to get the goats out. One goat at a time. Come on. I know they're going to be right there. Come on, Dan. Come on. Come on. I can back that horse trailer right into the pen if you want. Um, well, I just figured this would be easier. And then I can just pull it straight through. Is the key in? In the truck, yeah. Um, I've got leashes next to that door on the ground right now on the by, back side of the trailer. I know, they're coming. You're good.
look at them there having a blast over here living it up i'm so happy that caroline is home and dan and ann are home i think they are gonna love their new little pasture area yes look at them so happy there's my babies there's my babies so we've got the goats unloaded unloaded the feed that i had picked up earlier in town we got the pens out that we took the dogs over in and we loaded up Jen and Will's roosters that I've had here uh, because the dogs are temporarily going to be in what that rooster pen was uh, loaded up into the back of the truck. So now we are going to go uh, take the horse trailer back, drop it off at our friend Beth's and drop the roosters off at her place and go get, well actually we could wait to drop the roosters off. We'll do that after we get the kids because the kids are on their way back right now and we're going to be pulling up right about when they do. I'm just time in life like this today. But man, I am so excited. We've got the pups here. Uh, I can't wait to get working with them. We've got the goats here and they're just out here living their best life. I have missed having animals. And I'm so excited that the goats are here and I, I just can't even tell you guys, I'm so happy. I missed Caroline. Uh, she came running up. She was so happy to see me. I think she knew she was coming home today. So. I'm, I'm happy and uh, I, I can't wait to uh, get this next section of fence done so Frank can get her horse and uh, man, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Hi babies. <gasps> Who's that? Those are going to be your outside friends. You remember the goats? Oh, I Do you remember your goats? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a good girl. She's like, I don't know. Lundy. I have a serious question right now. Yeah. Why does her bag look like it's got milk in it? It's so bad. Tell me they're not weaned. No, no, no. She had two other kids, remember? Oh. Okay. These guys are... I would tell you this, guys, too. After wearing these for a while today, I'm a fan of these half boots. I'm definitely digging them. For a situation like today where I didn't really need, I wasn't being in tall, tall grass, but I needed muck boots still. These were, these were a good choice. I'm telling you, I'll show you the difference. Those are the regular ones like I have, the tall ones, and then these basically come up to here. So you can kind of see the difference. And on these hot days, being able to slip on these little half ones, that's pretty cool. We checked. Yay! Unhooked. Mission accomplished. Woo. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. I'm so glad we've got uh, Nashaba and uh, Kusi Kusi, Nash and Kusi over here now. Uh, we're gonna get working with them. And uh, thanks for following along with the journey as we add our animals here. And I, I can't wait to show you how everything turns out. So until next time, guys, stay blessed and safety's off. And guys, don't forget, check that link down below and TCR15 promo code uh, to go check out and get your very own pair of high C uh, boots. These things are great. I love them. I cannot recommend them enough. They are awesome. Go check them out.